Hey guys, now we are going to cover about the B complex vitamins and its notes. Okay, so coming to the B complex vitamins, the very first vitamin is vitamin B1, which is thiamine. Vitamin B1, thiamine. Thiamine is the first disco compounds, namely the B complex group. That is why it is named B1. So coenzyme TPP of vitamin B1 play a very important role in carbohydrate metabolism. So the functions of B1 is synthesis of myelin sheet which plays a very important role in the transmission of nerve impulse. Thus B1 is essential for nervous system functioning. It involves in carbohydrate metabolism essential for heart and brain functions. So the deficiency of vitamin B1 we causes beriberi. Coming to the recommended dietary allowance, it is 1 to 1.5 mg per day for adult, 0 0.7 to 1 mg per day for children. So 2 mg per day for pregnant female and lactating mother. Coming to the sources of vitamin B1, animal food like pork, beef, liver, heart, kidney, whole grains. And next, vitamin B2, riboflavin. So, vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin. It is involved in energy production in the body. Flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide are the two coenzymes forms of riboflavin. So, functions of the riboflavin or the functions of vitamin B2, it produces energy by carbohydrates, proteins and fats. It improves the eyesight by reducing the development of contract. Impro important for healthy skin. Riboflavin deficiency is uncommon. It is mostly seen along with other vitamin deficiency. The chronic alcoholics are susceptible to B2 deficiency. So, a recommended dietary allowance is 1.2 to 1.7 mg per day for men. 1 to 1.1 mg per day for females. Sources of the vitamin B2, milk, milk products, meat, egg, liver, kidney are the rich source. Cereals, fruits, vegetables and fish. Next, vitamin B3, niacin. Niacin is not strictly a vitamin since it can be synthesized in the body from an essential amino acid called tryptophan. Niacin is required for healthy skin, energy production and cell respiration. Coming to the functions of niacin, niacin inhibits the liposis in the adipose tissue and decreases the circulatory free fatty acids. The serum levels of low density lipoproteins, very low density lipoproteins, triacylglycerol and cholesterol are lowered. So hence niacin is used in the treatment of hyperlipoproteinemia required for proper functioning of the respiratory as well as for digestive system. Deficiency of niacin will cause pellagra. The recommended dietary allowance is 15 to 20 mg per day for adults, 10 to 15 mg per day for children. Sources of niacin are the rich natural source of niacin will include liver, yeast, whole grain, cereals, pulses like beans and peanuts, milk, fish, eggs and vegetables are the moderate source. Coming to the next vitamin, vitamin B6, pyridoxin. The vitamin B6 is used to collectively represent the three compounds namely pyridoxin, pyridoxal and pyridoxamine. Functions of vitamin B6 are it is important for the synthesis of proteins, hemoglobin, neurotransmitter and myelin sheet around the nerves. It involves in the process of glucose formation by gluconeogenesis and glucogenolysis. glycogenolysis. Gluconeogenesis means production of the glucose from non-carbohydrate compounds. Glycogenolysis means production of glucose from splitting of glycogen. So, deficiency of vitamin B6 is associated with neurological symptoms like depression, nervousness and mental confusion. The recommended dietary allowance is 
2 to 2.2 mg per day for adult, 2 to 2.5 mg per day in pregnancy as well as in the old age. Sources of vitamin B6 are animal sources such as egg yolk, fish, milk, meat are rich in vitamin B6, wheat, corn, cabbage, roots and tubers are the good vegetable sources. Next, vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 is a water soluble vitamin also known as panthothenic. So in Greek panthos means everywhere. Everywhere. It is one of the most widely distributed vitamins found in plants and animals. Pantothenic acid and beta alanine combine together to form pantothenic acid. Coming to the functions of vitamin B5, the functions of B5 are exerted through coenzyme A and CoA. Coenzyme A is a central molecule involved in all the metabolisms, carbohydrate, lipid and protein. Like other B vitamins, it is involved in chemical reactions of energy production. Important role of vitamin B5 in the body is synthesis of fatty acids, red blood cell formation, formation of stress and sex related hormones in adrenal gland, maintaining the health of the nervous system, helps in the utilization of riboflavin, vitamin B2, maintaining the healthy digestive tract, lowers the cholesterol levels. The recommended dietary allowance of vitamin B5 is up to 6 months of age, it is 1.7 mg. For 7 to 12 months, it is 1.8 mg. 1 to 3 years of age, it is 2 mg. For 4 to 8, it will be 3 mg. For 9 to 13, 4 mg. Above 14 years, 5 mg. For the pregnant females, 6 mg. And for breast feeding women, it is 5, 7 mg. So, it will be keep on increasing the level based on the age and based on the requirement. So coming to the finally, the sources of vitamin B5. At, as earlier mentioned, vitamin B5 is widely distributed vitamin and found in wide variety of animals and plant products. Therefore, I am mentioning here that some rich source of vitamin B5 that is sweet potatoes which are baked, legumes, uh, wild grains, broccoli, cauliflower, yogurt, sunflower seeds, avocado, cheese, mushrooms, eggs, trot and salmon, chicken and turkey. Next, vitamin B12 which is a water soluble vitamin and it is known as cobalamin because it contains the mineral cobalt. It is a unique vitamin synthesized by only microorganisms not by animals and plants. It is required for RBC formation myelin synthesis around the neurons, DNA synthesis and energy production. So, how much vitamin B12 is required? Up to 6 months, it is 0.4 micrograms. So, 7 to 12 months, it is 0.5 micrograms. 1 to 3, it is 0.9 micrograms. 4 to 8, 1.2. 9 to 13, it is 1.8. So, it will be keep on increasing. So, for pregnant female and for the lactating mother, it will be in the range between 2.6 to 2.8. Deficiency of vitamin, vitamin B12. Symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency are anemia, which we also call it as megaloblastic anemia, weakness, fatigue, neurological symptoms such as numbness and tingling of fingers and toes, confusion, memory loss. Deficiency of, deficiency of vitamin B12 is autoimmune destruction of gastri gastric parietal cells, genetic causes, parietal and total gastrectomy, partial and total gastrectomy. So, in that case also, vitamin B12 deficiency will take place because vitamin B12 is directly absorbed from stomach. So, if the person is on, under gastrectomy, so the vitamin B12 is not absorbed. Insufficient production of IF, intrinsic factor in older individuals, Dietary deficiency of vitamin B1 is seen among the strict vegetarians. So, vitamin B2, dietary deficiency of vitamin B12. So, vitamin B12 is administered in therapeutic doses from 100 to 1000, 1000 micrograms intramuscularly. Folic acid administration can also reverse the hematological abnormalities observed in vitamin B12 deficiency. However, the neurological symptoms will persist. Therefore, a combined supplementation of vitamin B12 and folate 
is employed to treat the patient with megalobastic anemias okay uh, this is a very clear cut notes for vitamin vitamin b complex as well as fat so water soluble vitamins okay my dear friends thank you very much